Literally some of the hottest new electronic products on the market. These devices use a new technology called nano heat. It can heat very fast, okay, and it can reach 300 degrees Celsius in one minute, and it won't have the magnetic interference with other equipment. And so that's why it's quite suitable for medical uses and used in the equipment, particularly for MRI. Developed at the Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks, the award-winning technology uses nanoparticles fused to glass, which can be fashioned into a variety of appliances. You use the heating coil, heating wire, the current is too low to generate heat energy. We can just use a, a battery okay, from the mobile phone, and then we turn on, okay, you can use a hand warming, and you can use as a cup warming, the toaster grill. It's multifunction, actually, you can toast, okay, and you can grill. Other toaster, for example, in the market, okay, and they it consume 800 to 1,000 W power. We only use one third or one fourth of the energy, okay. It's high energy efficient, and also we can use the DC power. If you use the DC power, and then you can use the battery. When you use the battery, you can use solar energy. The company launched their nano heat products at the Hong Kong Electronics Fair, with plans to find a global market in the coming six to 12 months. It's quite critical actually when you commercialize a product or technology, okay? How to sell the technology, how to promote technology, and how to let the other people recognize the advantage of the technology. And it's also a difficult part. So that's why we need the uh, Hong Kong DDC, the Hong Kong government, and actually the whole community, Hong Kong community, okay, to support us. The world's largest electronic event, the autumn edition of the fair, is running with the concurrent Electronic Asia, bringing more than 3,500 exhibitors to the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center. Many of the devices on offer are eco-friendly, such as the energy-saving halogen oven. The HKTDC is also introducing some innovation of its own at this electronics fair. Now all the product magazines are online with this application for the iPad. Buyers can now access products online even before they arrive at the fair, even clicking directly to vendor websites to find out more about a product they're interested in. In the past, they'd have to wait until they arrived at the fairgrounds to pick up a magazine themselves. The demands of an increasingly mobile world are also evident at the two electronics events, from the latest tablet PCs to an advanced application of wireless internet with TV and radio, or even devices that capture life on the go, such as this wearable camcorder, which records video in high definition. The mobile gadgets of tomorrow are also taking shape at Electronic Asia. Micron technology is pushing the boundaries with tiny chips that can be used to run projectors that fit into a smartphone. Their FLCOS micro display will even play a starring role at a seminar during the fair. One of the things I'm looking at are the, the relationship between display size and computing power in devices. Our computing power is fantastic and mobility is great, but the display, which is of course how the human interfaces with it, has gone completely the wrong direction. So what we're trying to do is break that conundrum apart. The small physical device, but still with the big information display. We're here to announce this, and this is where all the customers are. Uh, this engine in particular is aimed at this market with this technology at this timing. And so we really wanted to get here. Everybody who's a player in all of these businesses, they're all here. Pioneering technology is also filling bigger screens. Hong Kong's iTac Vision Limited has integrated a high-definition touchscreen panel with a computer. This virtual tour is an example of the type of custom applications the company can create for clients such as hotels and theme parks. My target customer is industry and commercial, okay, uh, and they are my target customer, okay. I come to Hong Kong because, because Hong Kong Electronic Fair is very famous and I think it's a very good opportunity to promote our product and exposure in overseas market. And the race to add a third dimension to entertainment is getting a bit easier thanks to the Hong Kong arm of an Italian company. They've come up with a groundbreaking bit of software which allows broadcasters to send 3D TV signals that use less bandwidth, yet are higher resolution and compatible with 2D screens. For users who don't have invested in any 3D equipment, they can enjoy uh, what's being broadcasted on 3D TV channels without having to change anything in their equipment other than a small update in the software. We've been exhibiting here for five years now. 
However, we only lately started using the show as a platform to promote technology. It gives you the opportunity to have many meetings with your clients, which is much more effective when talking face-to-face. -face. 